Hey folks, today we're going to be talking about two of the hottest tablets, not called the Apple iPad. They're the Motorola Zoom and the HP Touchpad, and today we're going to see how they compare to one another. And of course, as always, be sure to come check us out at gpsmaestro.com for all your smartphone and GPS needs. Alright, looking at the operating system, the uh, Motorola Zoom, that's the one here on the left, this is running the Google Android 3.0 Honeycomb Tablet Operating System. Okay, this is a branch off of Google Android's uh, operating system that they've used on smartphones uh, now for a few years. And this uh, operating system is built just for tablets. Now the touchpad is running the new WebOS 3.0 operating system and if that sounds familiar but you're not sure where a WebOS uh, goes, if you've heard of the Palm Pre, this is the newest version of that particular uh, operating system. And uh, both of them offer multitasker, multitasking. As far as processors go, they both have pretty beefy processors. The Zoom is sporting a 1 GHz dual core Tegra 2, while the touchpad is sporting a 1.2 GHz dual core Snapdragon processor. So both very fast, though the touchpad does have a bigger, faster processor. As far as display goes, the uh, Zoom has a little bit bigger display, a 10.1 inch LED display with a 1280 by 800 resolution, and the Zoom, or and the touchpad, excuse me, has a 9.7 inch LED display with a 1024 by 768 resolution. Pretty much, the touchpad is just like the iPad from a size and resolution comparison. As far as memory goes, they both have a full gig of RAM. As far as storage goes, the Zoom comes with 32 gigabytes of onboard memory and an SD card slot, which is expandable up to 32 gigabytes. And the touchpad comes in 16 or 32 gigabyte models. As far as battery life goes, uh, about 10 hours video playback from the Zoom. And while it hasn't been officially announced what to expect from the touchpad, experts are estimating about 10 hours based on battery life, or excuse me, based on battery size and the processors uh, inside the, the system, but it's not for sure yet, so just kind of take that with a grain of salt. As far as camera goes, the Zoom has a 5 megapixel rear camera and a 2 megapixel front camera, while the touchpad doesn't have a rear camera at all and has a 1.3 megapixel front camera for video chat. For connectivity, you can get 3G, 4G, and Wi-Fi on both of them, though the Zoom is launching with the 3G model first, while the Wi-Fi model is the one that's going to be launching first with the touchpad. As far as weight goes, they're almost exactly the same weight. Uh, the touchpad is just a little bit more at 740 grams, while the Zoom is 730 grams. And a few other things to keep in mind here. Um, a couple other features, the Zoom has a barometer, e-compass, accelerometer, GPS sensor, light sensor, and gyroscope, while the touchpad has a gyroscope, GPS, accelerometer, and a compass. So there you have it, that's how the two compare to each other. Be sure to come check us out at gpsmaestro.com and tell me what you think, which one you think is more exciting, or if you're just going to wait for the iPad 2 to come out. Again, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.